right, round number two. Uh, we have the mana drain in the islands again. Pfft, yeah. That's good enough for me. It's going to get a little awkward if we end up countering a three drop unless we draw something because we don't really have anywhere to put the mana outside of just like a random Vesuvian shapeshifter, which is fine. I'm not saying it's bad. I just, this is what we want, right? We want to go this into this, at least with this opening hand. Um, but I like it. I think this is fine. If we're playing against a creature-based strategy, we've got an edict for anything early, which could buy us some time for a damnation later. Of course, we've got the mana drain to take care of, uh, you know, something really crazy. Um, yeah. What we don't want to see is like mono red or something. This hand against my, in fact, our whole deck, but, but our, this hand specifically against mono red is pretty ugly. All right. Tapped godless shrine. I'll allow it. And we draw a swamp, which is very ideal. Super nice draw there. That gives us access to edict and it puts us only one mana away from this damnation. That's really good. But we got to stick with the island so that we can keep up drain here. Looks like he's going to do nothing, though. And that's totally great by us. No issue with that whatsoever. Uh, chalice, awkward. But no, we're going to pass on chalice again. Now if we get to draw... It, it, since we hit this land, if we get to counter a three, then we get to play Sphinx. I think he's going to do much here, though. I mean, we haven't given him a great incentive to act here. But I would counter almost anything. I'm assuming if he casts a spell here, it'll be his least excited option. But if he taps out, uh, yeah, I mean, I'd love to get Sphinx down. Sphinx is just so hard to deal with. Like, he needs a, you know, an Edict or a Liliana or something, which he could have, but yeah, certainly make him show us. All right, one, two, three. Geist of St. Traffle. That's an easy one to counter because that card's a huge pain in the butt. I mean, we have an Edict effect to kill it, but, like, I'm very happy to just not have to deal with this. And plus, if he has, I don't know, there's days. We did pass a days. Uh, we can pay for days, so I guess that's not an an, an issue. But uh, but yeah, getting rid of a Geist is nice. Just because Edict's going to hit something. Uh, all right, so we've got three. We can make that into one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Uh, let me just make sure I'm counting this right. We put two of it into this, but we get one of it back. We've got one floating, so that's two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, all right. And, ooh, hello. Um, it's not unlikely that we'll, we'll make it depending on what he does here that we just make a copy of it. Got to be a little concerned here just because, uh, he is double white so he can, he can get there. <laughs> he can, uh, he can wrath. We don't really have any protection against that at the moment, but oh yeah, no problem. And it misses his land drop too. Hmm. Well, let's see what we draw with this <laughs> all right so we're gonna let's just ancestral right now uh so i can actually cast and morph if i need to anyway because i'm going to draw a land so let's just start with that all right so not a great one there's snapcaster that's what we really want Snapcaster uh, with this island is going to be able to hit Mana Drain or Ancestral and just destroy him. Uh, unfortunately, it's on top of our library at the moment, so not really doing much for us. So why don't we attack? And I think what's going to happen here is that we, we can just... Uh, do this. 
and then see what he does. If he sweeps our board, I think we can just uh, out out maneuver him with uh, or out brute force card advantage him with ancestral recall and snapcaster mage. I think this isn't going to be an issue at least on the battlefield. All right, so he does have day of judgment. Okay, uh, so this thing goes away, and then uh, and then yeah. We're just going to go with that plan. So I'm just going to play my land, play an Una's Prowler, and pass a turn back. And then we're going to see what he does. Because if, 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 if we find something that we must counterspell, then we will, we will drain it. But otherwise, we really we just would much rather, uh, you know, flashback the, uh, the goods. Because we have a couple more counterspells that we can find in there as well, and he's crimped on mana. But I think Una's Prowler is actually quite nice here. Sucks against this, obviously. Edict, we should be able to get some value out of, too. We can Edict, Snapcaster, Mage, Ancestral this turn if we need to. Like, if he just casts something kind of big and beefy that we just want to get rid of, we can just Edict and then snap back Ancestral and have five power on the board. That's pretty ideal. That would be really nice. Ancestral gives us a chance to draw our, our hard counter with Counterspell. Or, um, yeah, just any number of great stuff, obviously. Mind Twist would be sweet, too. Just get him. We're really far ahead on mana right now. The, the question is just, like, if he plays something that we just have to counter, you know? That's the rough part. Hopefully he doesn't. Like, Jace... Jace, would we care about Jace... Soren, Lord of Innistrad. Nope. Nope, he can have that. Because he's going to have to discard a bunch of cards to save it anyway. Um, it makes our Edict awful, but I'm just going to fire off the Edict so that Snapcaster can get through. Um, but first, I'm going to Snapcaster here. Get back Ancestral Recall. Um, I guess actually I should have done this in response because if we draw miscalc, I could have miscalc this. So yeah, that was a mistake. Um, thankfully, we, we should be able to deal with Soren. Like he's going to have to ditch multiple cards. Uh, well, yeah, maybe not. This is actually this could have just been like a huge error. But let's find out what we hit here, and then we'll figure it out from there. I will force myself to draw three cards. And we brick, but, I mean, not really a brick per se. All right, so get rid of your token and put some pressure on this guy. But our hand is all blanks, so that's pretty unlucky. Hopefully we draw something sweet here. Well, there we did. We did indeed. Um, for five, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so we've got plenty. And we're going to make him discard, like, what he's going to have to do here is discard a bunch to this thing just to make it into zero. Ooh, but he didn't. Wow, so we got lucky. He he forgot to, to activate that. And he gets rid of Spectral Procession. Oh, thank God. But it looks like that's pretty greedy here. Archangel of Thune is yuck. Dismember. Ravages. Wow, this guy, this deck is very greedy but very powerful. And now we get to just kill Soren, and we're going to be in a good spot. All right, your turn. And hopefully he just doesn't draw anything. Because this is going to be an issue. Man, Mind Twist is so mean. People just scoop to it. They just don't like it. I don't blame them. Um, eh? Uh, no, eh? Man, what are these, this artwork? That's got to be one of the worst naturalized artworks possible. It looks like an Easter egg. All right, let's just ship it back. We really didn't end up with too many great sideboard cards, unfortunately. Naturalize is really good, but we saw... See any targets for it? I don't think we saw any. Yep. 
And that's a keep. <laughs> I mean, this is this is the world we live in. We live in Mox ancestral ever flowing keep. And there's an edict. So what I'm going to do actually here is just just do this because this way we're set up uh, next turn with a bunch of extra mana and our ancestral can actually start to cast stuff right away. I like just getting out ahead on mana. Normally I save my mocks until like I need to actually use them for something. But in this case, I just want to get ahead on mana. And yeah, go ahead. I mean, there's a chance I draw something that I want to cast off of ancestral, but I think that with double blue up, you know, I think mana leaks in the cube or something, and I'd rather just make him do something here. If he slams Geist, I can edict it and still have Ancestral. Like, I've got options here. And I'm not in a hurry. Like, it's not like he's pressuring us. All right, Sword. So let's Ancestral. We don't have any more blue, so we can't actually do anything about it. And there's a library, so that's really good for us. That sword's a big issue, though. It definitely is. That is a scary proposition. Um, but we're going to get to draw immediately here off of library. So let's see if we can get some action, because right now we don't have any. Um, yeah, all right. Bummer, but uh, Jace is going to help. We just need to get those the blue mana flowing here. Jace is going to help with library as well. So we should be able to draw ourselves out, but this is going to become an issue pretty quickly. What have you? Oh, God. Uh, that's a big, 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 big problem for us because it makes our edicts terrible. Um, our best case is that he gets sloppy next turn. Huh. Yeah, that's awkward. Shapeshifter's not very good here. I guess it's not the worst. Uh, so let's draw. We need to keep drawing cards here. Toxic Deluge. All right, well, that'll buy us time down the road. But Elspeth is a big issue. So the question is, do I want to play Vesuvian Shapeshifter or Jace Bellerin? Um, I think I just want to play Jace here. I play Jace. He goes to equip. I edict him. Everybody's happy except for him. That seems fine to me. Um, if he makes a dude first, then this doesn't work. But I'm going to get my card back out of it either way. We're going to have to discard, but that's fine. There we go. That's a little bit better. I can steal his sorted creature and, and just sort of slow him down a bunch. But I think he's going to get lazy. I'm <laughs> just like banking on him, just like equip, equip. Uh, paying for equip and then letting me kind of get him. If he doesn't, he kills Jace. And then I steal his other guy. Edict him and steal his other guy. Probably. Or maybe I steal his other guy and then edict him. Ugh. All right, well, I have to edict him now because this does at least prevent him from attacking me this turn but I don't get to make him use up his mana on a sword so pretty annoying but I get to keep Jace so that's good it means I get another card out of the guy one two three for a true name nemesis and we're just lucky I mean we've got toxic deluge and we get to actually use it here and uh, and kill his true name and also kill his soldier token so that we don't get hit by the sword again, which means I get to keep Jace again. So like things are gonna keep rolling. I get to use it I get to draw a card off library. He did not equip true name. Okay, that's fine. Back up to seven. Ooh, there's a Tamio as well. Uh, but let's see what we get. Frost Titan. One, two, three, four, five. So I can actually pay six. Yeah, but I'm just gonna need to deluge deluge this turn here. So let's just do that. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Um, and I want to pay three life and kill your stuff. And then 
I'm going to draw a card. Hopefully it's a counter. It's not. It's a mole drifter. Do I want to evoke you? No, I don't think that I do. So I'm just going to go for this. And then say go. This way I get to draw a card next time, next turn off library. Um, if he plays... Let's see, do I have enough? One, two, three, four, five, six, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. So what I can do is Frost Titan, lock something down, flip this, and then attack with it and lock something else down and maybe kill Elspeth. She'll be at seven? Yeah, but I'll take a big chunk out of Elspeth. That could be really good. I could also Sower, steal something, flip this, and steal something else. That's less likely, though. I got a lot of options here. I probably won't activate library next turn. I'll probably just go for big frost titan plays. Um, I'm really hoping he plays a creature here though, because if he has another wrath and I've got, yeah, that's good enough. Equip. Yeah, all right. I need a snapcaster mage for this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two. So if I want to make the Frost Titan play, I need to decide that now. So I can play a Frost Titan, lock this thing down, turn this into a Frost Titan, attack Elspeth, lock this thing down. He blocks this, and then he gets to hit me with this, with the sword. Uh, he gets True Name Nemesis back and gains some life. Uh, that doesn't seem great for me. Um... Seven, so I'm gonna draw a card first and see if we hit something good, which we do not. So now what I can do, I can sower this thing. This doesn't do anything if it becomes a sower or a mole drifter. I can just mole drift here I really need to hit Snapcaster Mage so that I can Toxic Deluge again and get rid of his guys. That is a big issue right now. This is actually a very, very tough spot. Frost Titan just isn't really doing what I need it to do because of True Name Nemesis being in the graveyard there. Um, I can also, another great draw would be a uh, my Reanimate. Just get back True Name, name him, and then I can use it to kill else to kill Elspeth and do other stuff. So I think I am going to draw a card here. Um, because this Frost Titan play is just not going to get it done. Uh, now I can't actually flashback Deluge with Snapcaster Mage. But I could play Sower still. So yeah, I'll evoke this. I mean, I can take a hit here. It's not like the worst case, but I do need to find some stuff pretty soon here. Okay, Damnation will help. That will definitely help. Um, so if I play a Sower, I can prevent myself from getting hit by the sword. And I kind of like that, so let's do that. Sower. I can also make this a flyer so I can attack Elspeth next turn if I need to. Uh, the, the downside to this whole drawing a wrath and making that our plan is that um, he, uh, uh, would I trade Vesuvian Shapeshifter for any two creatures here? Yeah. Yeah, I think I would. Because I get to kill a flyer this way and then it makes my Frost Titan way better. Yeah, this seems actually quite nice. He's just going to chump. All right, that's good too. Because uh, I'm going to chump with this. Um... Yeah, is that if I le let him just have an Elspeth forever, well, I'm going to lose eventually. Like, Elspeth will win the game eventually. So, he's going to equip this over here. But I still have this spirit. Yeah, I still have the spirit. So, I actually just get to... Oh, no, I can't chump block this, that thing because it's because of that. So, I'm going to have to throw the Sower in front of the spirit so he doesn't get true name back. Um, or I can just let him get true name back. That might actually not be that bad either. Oh, he's got Dismember, though. 
Uh, this is going to have summoning sickness, but it means that he is going to get true name if he wants to use up his mana. Gets true name back. I play damnation. He can ultimate Elspeth and then make my life difficult, but not impossible. Mm. We'll just have to see. I also have the play next turn of Tamio. Draw three, which isn't bad. And that's at eight now. And if I ever get to flashback Toxic Deluge, it gets around indestructibility stuff. All right, so hit me. You go back up to 19. You get back true name. Yeah, these are the, the sword and Elspeth are very problematic. The rest of the stuff, no big deal, but those are an issue. No doubt about it. Okay, good. He's passing the turn. We've got a shot. All right, we hit the reanimate. We awkwardly hit reanimate. Um, I can reanimate Muldrifter, Sower of Temptation. All right, I've got infinite mana now. Basically. Um, so let's draw a card. An island, okay. So, do I have this play? One, two, three, four, five, six. I do. I have the play where I can play Frost Titan and then flip this and attack. And that would actually let me hit Elspeth here, which seems really good. The problem is True Name Nemesis is coming. And I don't really have a way to deal with it right now. I mean, I can Damnation, but then I lose my Frost Titan and this, which is really bad because I don't really have any other win conditions. I mean, this is really good, but... Not amazing, but I don't really see how I get out of this any other way. Because if he gets to ultimate Elspeth, it's going to be a big issue. All right, so we're going to lock down a couple of his dudes and just hope that these Frost Titans kind of take over here. I mean, True Name's going to be able to block one indefinitely, but... All right. Okay, well, we're still in this thing. We can wipe the board. So I think the plan right now is to get rid of Elspeth, let him get True Name back, Damnation, and then use Reanimate to get back like our Frost Titan and then try to just ride that wave. I think that's what we're trying to do here. Thirteen is what we're at. We could take a hit here. One, two, three, four. Uh oh. What is this? Oh, Soren. Um. Hmm. Ooh. Hit us for six. Ooh, he just he just insta. And then he's going to have enough mana for for uh, true name. Pumped, too. That's nine, although that's not lethal. He's just getting very aggressive here. It's interesting. It looks like Tamio might play a nice role here. He doesn't get to get anything back. He's just gaining the life. So this is just a big hit to, to get us down to four, and then he gets to play true name. Still want that Snapcaster Mage. If I can Snapcaster Mage here, I can wipe his board and still get in and, and kill us both of his Planeswalkers in one hit. Oh man, Snapcaster would be so savage right here. I wish I had the mana for Miscalc just to get rid of True Name, but we're really close to actually stabilizing here, though. Oh, he doesn't... That was weird. Uh, I do not want to do that. Snap me? Mind Twist. All right, well, he's we know one of his cards. All right, so let's draw a card. The easy decision, usually. Is it Snappy? Didn't I use Snappy, did I? No, I didn't. It's Counterspell. Okay, that's reasonable. What does he have? Well, hell with it. Let's just Mind Twist him and get the cards out of his hand. Mind Twist you. And then I gotta I have to Tamio this. 
All right, factor fiction and so he just didn't cast anything. That's really weird. Um, one, two. So I just have to damnation then. Awkward. I do get to have counter spell up though. That's nice. So this will attack Soren. This will attack Elspeth. Um, I get to tap down this and this. Yeah, I don't have enough life. I need to, We need to find our worm coil engine. Okay, so those are gone. And then I guess I just have to damnation here. If I play Tamio, I take. I'm dead. So yeah, all right. Yeah, it still seems like a totally fine spot, though. We got him down to. He's completely hell bent with no board, and we have a counter. We have actually two counter spells in hand, sort of a miscalc and a counter spell. We've drawn way more cards than him. We have reanimate. Like I could just reanimate true name nemesis and just start trying to destroy him with that. It looks like we're going to get value out of miscalc here, though. Or are we? If it's a singular creature threat, I'm tempted to let it resolve. It's nothing? It's nothing. Okay. I'll let that happen. Uh, there's an Una's Prowler. Let's draw another card, though. Jace. Jace in your face. Um, oops. Uh, Tamio. Um, I'll keep this black mana tapped, I guess. Um, and then I can play Una's Prowler. But then I don't get to have Miscalc up as well. Eh, who cares? I'd rather just have Unus Prowler anyway. And uh, start applying some pressure. We're down to nine cards in our library because we've drawn so many. So we do need to be a little bit careful, but he couldn't cast this last turn. So yeah, I'm just going to let him... I'm just going to assume that it's a blank. And uh, leave up our regular counter spell here. I mean, I guess if he lets me miscalc, I'll miscalc anyway. So it's sort of a free roll. I'm not, I'm not quite ready to cycle this thing yet, though. Also, we need to be careful. We, we, we do have to be careful there. Um, awkwardly, I did play two cards that turn, so we're not going to get to draw a card off of library, but think it may have done its job for this particular game anyway. One, two, three, four, Cloud Goat. All right. Going for value. Cloud Goat would be sick here. So we get to play around four spikes still, so I think that may, works out fine for us. Yeah, his token deck is kind of insane. Our Raths are... There's what we've been waiting for. Our Raths are really good, though. Uh, I'm going to keep this swamp tap down just because it's unique. Um, uh, yeah, I think it's still fine to, uh, to do this once. I, I think we really can't draw any cards for the rest of the game, but uh, cryptic's good. We're just going to take that pile. These go on the bottom anyway, so we're only going to we're only going to affect our library by one. Not a big deal. And I feel like we're pretty close to locking this one up here. Um, yeah, I'm going to give up the dream of the library here, and uh, I think we've just pretty much got him at this point. Like we do need to make sure we can get his life total to zero, but now we've got counterspell, cryptic command, snapcaster mage. So. And then we've got the two planeswalkers going as well. So it just it's gonna be pretty rough for him to to recover from this. Even if we only have seven cards in our library. Um, we still got what a uh, Sphinx of Jwar Isle, which isn't gonna take too many hits to kill him. He can't resolve anything for the rest of the game. I guess if our bottom two cards are our fatties, we could be in trouble. Um, can I just 
get him with this if I ultimate her does that win me the game or something because he can keep this thing off his back pretty nicely um, so yeah let's just do this I'm not worried about the the plus ability on it and there's our sphinx if he's smart he'll actually just put them all in one pile though it's not gonna matter either way yeah, so he did at least offset it a little bit, but he—I guess he doesn't want me. He doesn't know I have a hard counter, so, so this is four turns. Play this guy. And there's our worm coil, though. Shouldn't matter. He'll probably start discarding. Actually, is he the one that forgot about it last time? He might not have read it. Any player may activate this ability. No, he sees it. He's doing it. He's on board. Um, yeah, but now that we have... Let's see. So we're going to hit him for at least... Well, at least five next turn. That's 13. Then we play this thing. Yeah, we've got it. Oh, I forgot to use Tamio. Oh, my God. That's pretty lazy. Um, probably just straight up doesn't matter, but still just very dumb. Like, don't do that. Opposition resolves. That does nothing. It's good in his deck, though. All right, draw Wormy. How about we use this first? <laughs> Tap this thing down. Go for ye old attack step. Hit you for five or six. I guess it's got to be six at least. Yeah, cutting a little close here, but not a big deal. Like I said, we're we're still gonna have plenty to kill him with. One, two, three, four, five, six. Play this. Say go, and we have we have lethal. We have full on lethal because even if he draws a card, this is still gonna be a one one, and that's eleven. Or 6, 11, 12. That's 12, I mean. I mean, he knows... I th did he see what we had? I can't remember, but it doesn't matter. Uh, counter target spell. Return target permanent to its owner's hand. Um, this is... Actually, I don't want to do that. Actually, it doesn't matter anyway, but... I don't want to give him another card in his hand. Just, I mean, it doesn't. It really doesn't matter. But we'll just do it like this. Six, eleven. It didn't matter either way. All right, ground him out. We'll see you guys in the finals.